Good morning, y'all. Welcome to Truth Be Told. Coming at you with God's perfect peace today. Heavenly Father, once again, you have woken us up. I pray that you use us today, Father God, to expand your kingdom, Lord, that you give us revelation on your word, that you bring us your peace, Father God, your perfect peace that you say that you give to us, Lord. We receive that today, Father. Show us how to receive your peace today, Father, and speak through me today in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Okay. God makes a promise. What a wonderful, he's got so many wonderful promises in the Bible. But this promise, it says, you will keep him in perfect peace. God's perfect peace, man. Do you guys even know what that looks like? What does God's perfect peace look like? Well, your thoughts need to be fixed. They need to stay put. Our mind needs to be locked onto Jesus. Jesus is the immovable cornerstone which everything flows. This is how we get our peace. Because we can choose to look at our problems in relationship to our ability to fix it, or we can choose to look at our problems through the ability, through God and His ability to fix it. That's how you can stay in perfect peace, honey. Because when we try to fix something, we lose our minds, right? And God says we're not supposed to lose our minds. We have a sound mind, right? That's what the Bible says. The Bible says that we are to put on peace. Did you hear it? Put it on. So in the morning, when you go to your closet, does your clothes jump off the hanger and dresses you? No. You got to choose, pick and choose, and actually put your clothes on. And when you put on an outfit that doesn't look good, what do you do? You take it off and you change it, right? Well, that's exactly what we're supposed to do with our thoughts. We're supposed to choose our thoughts every single day. And if you got a thought that's in your mind that's causing you anxiety and grief and it doesn't align with the Word of God, guess what? You can block that thought. You can hold that thought captive, honey. You don't have to wear that thought today. You can take that thought off and think on purpose. Think on things that are good and above and pure. That's what God tells us. He commands us to do these things. But yet we act like that's out of our control. God would not have said it if we couldn't do it. We just need to practice it. And we don't want to practice it. We want to continue to think, stink and thinking, and continue to think that we have no control over our minds. That's a lie, boo. You need to get right with the truth, honey. <laughs> So, when you put on an outfit, how much time do you take to get dressed and put yourself together, right? You're not going to go outside looking all jacked up and not being put together. How much more beautiful do you think you'd look if you put on God's love and walked out your house? Do you have any idea how beautiful you would look? Ooh, honey, let God's love shine through you. That's the best piece of clothing you could wear, honey. You, uh, we have to start by paying attention to our spirit man, how he looks right? The thoughts that are in our mind, instead of worrying so much on the outer shell. I mean, we're supposed to take care of our body. This is the temple, but who we are inside our identity, honey, we're created in the image of the perfect God. Honey, how good do you think you look if you started to look within yourself instead of focusing so much on the outside, which is going to deteriorate and die anyway, honey. I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> I love you guys. I pray that you get dressed and you start to put on your peace, that you start to think on purpose today in the glorious mighty name of Jesus. I am on peace, place, and looking good road, honey. Where you at? Holla.